Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. And today we have another repair video for you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll stick around for some more videos, and maybe consider subscribing and liking. And at the end of the video, there's going to be some links to some of our other videos. Mm -hmm. So this is a globe that we featured in episode 176, and we received a subscriber request for it from Linda Johnson Patton. So uh, she saw this in uh, episode 176, and uh, apparently, I seem to remember she said she had one of these and wanted to see how to fix it because hers is missing a bunch of water. Oh, okay. So, um, as as. This is some nasty... Uh... Yeah, and what's funny is, as you can see, yeah. there, you, you can't see anything in there. Yeah. The the water is totally brown and cloudy, That's and so I, I believe it's, it's rust, because we've mm. seen this before. Mm. Uh, this has a motor that must circulate the, uh, yeah. the, the, the glitter inside of there. I don't know what else the motor would do. Uh, and it also lights up. And you can't see it now. Let me see. Do we still have batteries in this? I don't um, know if we have batteries in this stuff. Uh, yeah, but you, you can't see the light. It's it's you know it's so, so dark. yeah it's so bad. Uh, but what happened was uh, when we showed this globe in uh, in episode 176, this is what it looked like. And when we turned all the lights out, you could see that there was a, a ball inside that was lit up, but but you couldn't really see any detail because all you could see was just like the kind of the light coming through the, the cloudiness. Uh, I remember it was, we'd had this globe less than 24 hours when we made that video. And then we put it up and to come back to it later. And several days later, I walked by and all of a sudden I could see everything. Not, not totally clear, but I could see everything in there. All of this brown cloudy stuff had settled down. And we were gonna start the video out that way, but I had, I had carefully turned the globe over to see what was on the bottom of it. And that's all it took to mess up the water. And then the, I was like, forget it. So we're going to go ahead and start from this position right here. Otherwise, we'll have to wait a few days for this all to settle. And uh, we'll see what uh, what makes this thing tick. And uh, hopefully at the end, see what it looks like. All right. So let's stick with us. Let's see it. Let's do it. All right. All right. So as usual, with these types of globes, we have to get this bottom cover off. So we're going to have to heat it up to loosen the uh, glue. And then we'll uh, hopefully be able to get this thing off. It's kind of a tight fit, but uh, I think we can do it. All right, Allie, go ahead and heat that up for me. All right. Yep, exactly what I thought. So, uh, hey, they did it. Hey, this is like kind of like the Disney Globes. They did, they, us a, they did us a favor, a favor and gave yeah. us a, they did us a favor and gave us a little connector here. So we can disconnect the electronics and the music box yep. from the globe. So uh, we'll set this aside. All right, and we do have a motor here. So let's see. We'll just go ahead and put pull that out of there and see what uh, what the problem is. Get this little bit of glue that's over the stopper here. Just cut cut it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a long needle nose for this one. Get down in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. All right. Ah, uh, that's what's inside. Look at that. Yeah, it's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of rust mm -hmm. and brown residue here uh, okay and there is a I see an impeller down there let's take a look here I'm gonna plug this up and oh we need the batteries plug it in and see if it's even turning uh, let's see right here okay nope the impeller is not turning okay uh, I believe this is a magnetic drive, so we're going to see what we can do about this. Well, I mean, we don't have a... It's really difficult because we, we just can't find the parts to replace the magnet and all of that. Well, I have something I'm going to try this time. 
Uh, it was suggested by, uh, by a subscriber, so we're going to give this uh, a shot here today and see what okay. happens. Okay, well then, yeah. we are all in for a surprise here. We'll see if it works. Okay, so yeah, so we've got the, uh, the ball that drops, and it's just surrounded by uh, buildings, uh, probably like, you know, from New York City. I don't recognize any of them specifically. It might be just generic buildings, but all right. Oh, almost forgot. Just, well, it's out of the globe. Let's see if we can, uh... yeah, it's not lighting up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now it's lit up. All right. So we'll see what that looks like when we get the, uh, the water in the, back in the globe. All right. So now the first step on this is going to be removing, in order to get to that impeller, we're going to have to remove the figurine from the, yeah, it's mounted. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to remove this. And, but first we're going to go ahead and pour all this brown water out and clean this up. And then, uh, we're going to clean this up as well. And then, uh, work on getting that off the stopper. All right. So this was not so easy to clean up. All of that rust had, uh, stained the glass and, uh, we had to use soap and a handle sponge. And then we had to use a, uh, uh, what is it? A magic eraser yep. between the magic eraser, the sponge back and forth. We eventually got it all cleaned up. Uh, and then I carefully, you know, I held this here and I, and I cleaned this uh, figurine up and this area down here while keeping the motor kind of protected because uh, we've seen this type of uh, assembly before and this motor comes out of this area here, but they, because of the light, they have a bunch of wire wrapped around the motor. So I'm just going to leave the motor in place here and there's a wire going through the stopper, which is going up into the light. So I got to be careful with that. But in order to get that impeller, because I can see the impeller is rusted. That's what the problem is. So I need to remove this figurine from here. It's sitting on these three pads. It's glued on these three pads. I'm going to go ahead and cut those, uh, cut the, the figurine off of those pads. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to right in between the stopper and the figurine, just kind of cut through the glue. There's one. All right, there we go. And there's the wire. Okay, so here's the, all right. Mm, and there's that the problem. Nasty. That is the problem right there. The, mag the magnet that was in here is completely rusted to the point where it has uh, expanded. It broke the, uh, the housing that was holding it. However, the top of the impeller, the important part here, it still looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dissolve all of this uh, uh, corrosion here and get this apart because this is like, yeah, this is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And then down yeah, here, we yep, we got some down here as well. We'll get that out of there. Now, uh, let's go ahead. We'll set this up and see how this works. Okay, so we're going to take the impeller with the rusty magnet which is basically not, not even a magnet anymore. It's just a big chunk of corrosion in there. Uh, and we're going to try to eat up that corrosion. Now, uh, we've always used uh, uh, vinegar, distilled white vinegar, and we've soaked this in distilled white vinegar. And the vinegar, whether it was a, an impeller like this, we've done this before, or uh, like a rusty uh, music box mechanism, mm -hmm. And the, <clears throat> the distilled white vinegar will eat up all the corrosion and leave behind, you know, the good metal, the good, the plastic and all that stuff will be saved. Now we had a uh, subscriber who uh, contacted us the last time he saw us using the vinegar. And it just so happens that he had done an experiment in high school about dissolving corrosion with different types of uh, solutions and that sort of thing. Uh, white vinegar, uh, distilled white vinegar was one of them, but he said that the, uh, they also use Coca-Cola uh, as one of the uh, mediums. And it turned out the Coca-Cola, he said, worked better than the white vinegar. I wish I'd remembered his uh, username. I'll have to see if I can figure it out and uh, give him a thanks in the uh, description or something. But uh, I don't know if he was pulling my leg and pranking me or, uh, or if this really works. But uh, Coca-Cola does have citric acid in it. So I wouldn't have thought it would work better than... Uh, than vinegar, but we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and pour some Coca-Cola in here, which is the same color as the corrosion. <laughs> and we're going to let this sit 
for the rest of the day, maybe overnight, and we'll see what that Coca-Cola actually does. Oh, look, it's it's bubbling uh, around the uh, the corrosion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the corrosion is starting to fizz. Okay, so something in the Coca-Cola, uh, like I said, probably the citric acid, is uh, <laughs> looks like it's starting to eat away at the corrosion. So this, I think this might work. Maybe I'm not being pranked. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and let this sit the rest of the day. We'll come back and check on it. And uh, if so, we'll have to let it sit overnight to get all that corrosion eaten up. And we'll come back and see. All right. So our Coca-Cola experiment here, uh, we're going to check the progress. Uh, The impeller has been sitting in the Coca-Cola overnight. It's been in there since yesterday afternoon. I checked it earlier. And unfortunately, the Coca-Cola did not work as well as we'd hoped. Um, there is a lot of corrosion dissolved. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom there. Uh, it did work uh, to a certain extent. Uh, however, there is still a lot of uh, rusted, corroded metal uh, inside the impeller that it just did not do, uh, did not work on. So, uh, so unfortunately, although it did work partially, uh, we're going to go back to our uh, white distilled vinegar because uh, soaking this overnight from our experience in distilled vinegar, this should have been totally clean this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and we have a a little container here of distilled white vinegar and I'm gonna put it in there. And we're gonna go ahead and let it sit in here for the rest of the day and check it later. And the expectation will be that all of that corrosion uh, will be uh, dissolved by by the vinegar. So we'll come back and check that uh, this evening and see where we are. All right, so this impeller has now been sitting in the vinegar all day, uh, probably about six hours. And you can see all of the corrosion that's at the bottom of this uh, vinegar here. It's uh, just a a lot of it all over the place, just just like a powder. And this is good now because the impeller housing is now empty. All of the corrosion's out of there. So, um, the vinegar did the job. So what we need to do now is, uh, this actually is more intact than I've seen any other impeller housing before. Usually they're split into two pieces. This one is still connected partially. Uh, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this bottom part of the, uh, of the housing to open it up. I'll probably put this in some boiling water to soften the plastic so I can, uh, get it flat again. Cause it's actually, uh, it's actually, uh, bowed out bent uh, from the expanding uh, 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 corrosion the, of the of the magnet and once I get this apart I'll either use a I'll see if a razor knife works if not I'll use my Dremel tool to get this apart and as far as a magnet goes for this have uh, you seen the uh, uh, the video that we did for the Alice in Wonderland globe uh, I had a hard time uh, finding a magnet I tried to drill a hole in the magnet and it just couldn't do it. It's just too hard. Um, but I did find a magnet that had a hole in it that fit perfectly and I was able to fix it with that magnet. But I found that magnet on the back of a refrigerator magnet. And uh, I found them online. They're called ring magnets. They have holes in the middle. They come in different sizes, but you have to order like, you know, a package of 10 or 20 of them usually. Uh, the second time we did it was with the Coca-Cola uh, uh, polar bear globe. And uh, a subscriber suggested using a washer, a metal washer that, that uh, is attracted to the magnet on the motor. And uh, that did not work at all. So it, as I suspected, it has to be a magnet in here to uh, work with the other magnet on the motor. So what we're gonna do, and we have a suggestion from our subscriber, Matthew Dembski. And so Matthew Dembski had an idea that I didn't think about. And that was to use this flexible magnetic tape. This is a magnetic tape with adhesive and this is the same material that uh, those uh, flexible uh, refrigerator mags are made out of. I'll be able to cut this, and what I'll do is I'll cut a circular magnet out of this and put a hole in the middle of it. And hopefully this magnet is strong enough to work with the magnet in the in the, in the top of the motor here. And we'll see if it, go, if it works. If it does, well, there's a solution right there. So I'll come back when I get all that set up. All right, so, uh, was able to get the uh, impeller housing uh, apart by using the uh, razor knife. Just kind of like went through along the seam and got it apart. Uh, so we got the top and the bottom half here. Uh, if you remember, this bottom half was all uh, warped and bowed out. 
So I heated it with a hair dryer, got it nice and hot, and then I was able to straighten it out and I held it there till it cooled and it's all nice and perfectly flat again. Then I uh, took the uh, flexible magnetic material here and cut myself a circular portion of magnet that fits right in there. And this magnetic material right here, it was a little bit too thin. So what I did was I stacked them up. I put uh, one on top of the other so I, I put uh, I glued two together making sure the polarity was going the same way and uh, fits perfectly in there so uh, the next step is to put this together and so I'm gonna go ahead and put two drops of glue in the top of the impeller housing and then I'm gonna drop this magnet right in there make contact with the glue all right, now I'm gonna put two drops of glue on the magnet itself. And I'm gonna put the bottom. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out a little bit. Keep it from dripping down into that center there. All right, we're gonna put this right there. Press it together. All right. So the impeller has uh, got a magnet in it again. And we're going to see, once this dries, we'll put it together and see if it works. All right, this uh, impeller is all dry now, so it's ready to put this back together. It came out really well. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look bad, actually. Uh, we'll see if it works. Right, right. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's the big thing. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to drop this right onto that little impeller shaft. Let's see. It's the, It spins freely. And you can see it's interacting with the magnet, so you can see it's like, the two magnets are interacting with each other, but it does spin freely. Okay, you know what? Let's try a test. Mm. Uh, let's see what happens when I turn it on. Can I hold something? Uh, yeah, hold the uh, hold the ball. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let me see. Let me get this cooked back up here. And I got it the right way. There we go. All right. Turn the switch on and see what happens. Okay. Uh-uh. Maybe, well, maybe it's not strong enough? <laughs> it is turning. Not very well. I suspect that those uh, flexible, uh, that flexible magnet tape may not be strong enough. But this is a, an improvement over mm -hmm. what... Yeah, those those ring magnets, you can get them online, but you have to buy like like 20 of them at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and there's different sizes. So we might just have to invest in some for the future in case we uh, come across any more of these. But, well, we'll see what happens once we put it back together and get water in it. Mm -hmm. So for now, let's go ahead and disconnect this. Could you hold that, please? Mm -hmm. And so now that we've got the impeller in place, we're going to go ahead uh, and glue this uh, figurine back down. Can you hold this, please? <coughs> yeah. Hold that. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, one drop of glue on each of those pads. Okay, let's see here. One drop. All right. Come on. <laughs> it did fall over. Might get a little clumpy. It, it doesn't want to cooperate. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. Oh. There's one drop there. Now it wants to. One drop there. There we go. Okay, now i got to match it up. Not quite. Not quite on there right. Well, it's a hard angle. I there couldn't quite tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to let this figurine uh, dry the uh, glue and then we'll uh, put this glue back together and see what happens. All right, this is stuck down, so we're ready to put this back together. So let's start by getting some water in here. And we are not going to put glue in this water because of the impeller. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But if it does work, yeah. um, the number one, the glue's not necessary, and number two, the uh, thickening the water up with the Just glue will keep the impeller yeah. from working properly because it's uh, going to be fighting against that thick water. So uh, let's just go ahead and get it in there, and then we'll mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll uh, wet the stopper here. And there's no direction on this, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. So let's first get that uh, stopper inside the... I didn't fill it all the way up with water like I normally do because I don't want to get that motor all yeah, wet, that smart. electrical motor. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get the stopper in there. Oh, you know what? We did make a mark. <laughs> Not that it matters. I, 
know we, what? we did. I forgot. We marked. I, yeah, I we marked you did. the stopper. So there is a mark on here. It, although it doesn't matter, but I'm going to line up the mark that we made. Hey, we made a mark. Let's we made a mark. Let's use it. All right. All right. Getting the stopper in. Not going to be quite as easy as mm -hmm. I thought. A little screwdriver in there to relieve the pressure. Right there. Okay. okay it's, looks like it's going to drop into place. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. All right. Mm. It looks like it popped right in there. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Hey, not bad. I know, right? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of plastic wrap and we're going to wrap that motor so that when we get that air bubble out, we don't get that motor all wet. So okay, let's all get right, that wrap. we wrapped the motor in some uh, plastic wrap to protect it. And also, uh, while we were off camera getting the wrap, we realized that we never put any, <laughs> we never put any glitter into oh there. Goodness. So we thought, you know what, let's just go ahead. We had to we had to pull the stopper back out, put the glitter in, put the stopper back in. We figured we wouldn't make you sit through that. But uh, so there's glitter in there now and uh, we'll see that in a minute. It's this glitter. Yeah, that glitter right there. <laughs> OK, so uh, since we have this motor, we're not going to submerge this in the water. We're going to use our uh, syringe here. So as usual, we're going to make a space for the syringe. I'm going to grab the stopper and pull the stopper back and I'm going to make a space for the syringe to go in. I'm going to try to carefully get it past the, the stopper here. Okay, let's bring it this way. And because of that motor, this, it's kind of a tight fit. Okay, so we've got the syringe inside. You see the bubble right there. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it until that bubble comes out of there. Hopefully there's only one syringe of water. Uh, there's some bubbles. Bubbles. bubbles Sometimes are. that happens when you put when you force the water in. It happens. You just gotta knock it around in the little Yeah, just gotta tap it. And then uh, put a little more water in there. Let's see, okay, water's starting to come out of the uh, out of the thing. So let's pull that syringe out of there. And uh, oh, another okay, so we had, we'll do that again. Mm -hmm. Well, we're we gonna have, let the the bubbles catch up to each other. Yeah, we're gonna give this a minute here, and we're gonna do it again and get that last bubble out, hopefully. And uh, so we're not gonna go ahead and uh, sit here for the whole thing, but when we we'll come back, when we get that last bubble out, doing the same same process. All right, we got that air bubble out, and now we're gonna go ahead and seal this. And we got to be real careful not to get uh, uh, glue onto the motor here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some glue. And uh, we may not have mentioned this before, but uh, putting hot glue on the uh, stopper to seal it is optional. You don't have to do that. Uh, sometimes the stoppers do a great job on their own and sometimes they don't. We were just discussing how sometimes the stoppers maybe don't have a perfect fit and that's the water gets leaked by. So this is just a precaution, but if you don't have a hot glue gun or you don't want to put hot glue on it, then you know that, that is, it is optional. It may lose water again and all you got to do is just do the same thing to get the air bubble out. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and seal this one up just in case, make sure we don't get any more leaks. Yep. I don't think this leaked out any water to begin with, come to think of it. Yeah, no, I think it was just... I think um, it had all its water. I can't remember now. It, it might have been missing... it was just that motor that... Or the... the um, not the, the cloudy, motor, the but the... Cloudy water. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, going to move the seem, wire out of the way. But I seem it. to remember okay. that uh, it, it had most or all of its water. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working on this globe over the course of several days, so it's mm -hmm. hard to remember everything that we mm -hmm. were doing. Okay, so... Trying to keep it away from that thing. Keep okay, up, so right? we got uh, we got a couple of little air bubbles popping up in the glue. You want to pop here, okay? And as we said before, that's a little bit of air that's still trapped between the uh, the stopper and the glass. So Allie's popping that bubble, and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and if you don't uh, pop that bubble and fill it in with some fresh hot glue to seal it up, uh, that that, may be that a culprit. we've seen it before where it leaks right from that spot right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ali, if you can hold this, I'm going to connect the wires here. And let's see, it goes this way. And now we're gonna put three drops of glue on here and get the cover back on. Three drops of glue is all we need. Hmm. 
Fancy. Fancy twirl. Okay, here we go. And we're going to drop this cover right there. All right. So we're going to take a look at it yeah. here in the stand here in a minute and see, see how we did. So there she is all finished up uh, yeah we can actually see her now look at that hmm. um, you know, even without the glue that glitter is lingering <laughs> yeah yeah that glitter actually hangs out it doesn't fall like the, the old the, the other glitter uh, so quickly so that worked out but yeah so now we can see you know everything it uh, looks nice with the uh, clean water and uh, mm -hmm. you can see everything the buildings the the, the the ball and everything so um so this was an interesting fix um we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Where's the switch? There's a switch mm -hmm. right there. And it does not look mm -mm. like the circulation system is gonna work. So, uh, Matthew, uh, great idea. Thanks for the <laughs> idea. And it, it, it certainly had validity. Uh, I, I will say that the, yeah. it, it sounded it sounded like it would work, but uh, unfortunately, it's just not strong enough. Yeah, I think that flexible magnet material just isn't strong enough, and we're just going to have to, you know, just bite the bullet and order some of those ring magnets online and uh, just have them ready in case uh, next time we have a problem like this. And because I know the ring magnet worked uh, the one time we had one, so. Uh, but yeah, no, no glue in this one. Uh, just plain uh, water with a little alcohol in it. Uh, the light works, and uh, the motor's running, but not circulating that. Right. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn the light off and see what it looks like, and then we'll play the music box. Okay. All right, there we go. In the dark, that uh, that motor's making a lot of noise. It is, it is. <laughs> it's probably fighting that uh, that magnet. It is. Uh, but there you go. The uh, the Times Square Ball, 100th anniversary snow globe. Let's go ahead and play that music box. Mm -hmm. And it's, we already know it's old Lang Sai. So there you have it. Times Square Ball, 100th anniversary. Didn't get the impeller to work, but uh, hey. It looks it looks much better than it did. It does. <laughs> so uh, there we go, and we've got some of that glitters at the top there. That'll that'll eventually uh, settle down and, and fall to the bottom uh, after a couple of days. And so yeah, we'll open it up and go in. And if it doesn't work, <laughs> we'll, we'll open it back up and try something different. Yeah. But, uh, so thanks for joining us for this repair. I think I think the results will look really yeah, good. I think they look and, good. And uh, so another experiment that uh, you know didn't work out 100%, but we learned something. We did, and that's always a good thing when we yep. learn something. So uh, we'll know better moving forward the next time we see one of these issues with the uh, rusted impeller. Yep. So hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, I know at least uh, one person uh, is going to be happy to see this because she has that. I what was, what was her name? Um, Linda Johnston Pelton. Okay, so <laughs> she said she had one of these, and so hopefully uh, she knows what's uh, going on now. So uh, until the next video, everyone, hopefully we see you there. And uh, thanks so much for joining us on this thanks one. so much for your time. And uh, remember, there's going to be some links coming up uh, in a second here uh, for the other uh, videos, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Be safe, take care, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.